Alright guys, before the actual video begins, I got an announcement. I'm gonna level with you. I probably should have made this video a couple weeks ago. Probably made this announcement a couple weeks ago. My bad, it's my bad. But I'm going to the Arnold. So if you're going to the Arnold, I would really like to meet you. I'd like to train calves with you. Post in the comment section below. I'll be chilling with my boys, the Jack Metrosexual, aka Mark Bell, uh, and Silent Mike at the Slingshot booth. That's where I'm going to be. I think it's booth, it's gonna be down there. I think it's like 1905. Don't quote me on that, but that's where I'm gonna be Friday, Saturday. Saturday, Sunday. So if you have an inkling, an urge, a desire to train your calves, Team No Calves is going to be there in full style. So make sure you stop by. Without further ado, let's begin the video. What's cracking, guys? Omar Esop here, coming back at you for another fast acting video. I just hung out with Jeremy Hamilton. Sorry, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. We've got some limited edition stringers for you guys that I know you're gonna like hot pink. Sorry, 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 guys, sorry. You know, that that is the problem. A lot of times people want to talk about calves, and the only people obsessed with calves, sorry, are fake nanny, sorry. I mean, the team no caps. Yeah, okay, yeah, that, this is not, no, you know what? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I heard that from over there. First of all, I don't appreciate this fake ass hair. My hair looks way better in person. Shot head, okay. Let's one, no, just, can I please talk? Okay, so. I, I thought you had caps. Yeah, well, you don't have caps. So I thought you had a great channel with great content. I want to give you the opportunity to be on my channel, and here you are disrespecting me on my own channel. How is that supposed to be good? You don't like the hair. It's fake. If it was real hair, it's real hair. No, it's, it's, it's someone's real hair, but it's not your hair is what I'm trying to say. Right, but I paid when we, I don't, okay. I said that we're going to be doing a video together. We're going to be talking about the mistakes beginners make, and here you are doing an impression of me. So do you want to do the video we're supposed to do, or do you want to keep doing the impression of me? Let's do the video that we're supposed to do. Okay, that sounds a lot better. That sounds a lot better. So you have a great channel. People should be checking out. Link is in the description. I think it's underrated. Okay, it's the truth. It's the truth even with this dumbass wig. Uh, I want to talk about the mistakes about about the mistakes the beginners make and how to avoid them. Because a lot of people are just starting out when it comes to training. You've been around the fitness industry for a while. You've been lifting. You know a thing or two about curls. What are some of the biggest mistakes you see? You have a lot of people asking you for advice. What do you say? The biggest mistake that I have seen in a commercial gym setting is people who aren't even doing a program. They don't know what the hell they're doing in the gym. Right. You've seen yeah. that, right? Yeah, so what is it, like I guess they also maybe program hop or something like their bro recommended to them and they're just doing that? Right. Like I've yeah. seen people combine programs, like use a legitimate program and right. then bring in some random thing that they saw on the internet that looked good. Yeah. So. I would say a lot of times too, it's like what, it's that, People, they have this expectation, oh, my friend got so many uh, gains from this, I want to do it too. They don't understand that it's a solid program combined with solid effort yields results over time. Another huge problem that I've seen is people not really understanding how supplements work or don't work. Right. Like there have been people who actually thought they were on steroids. Right. And they were actually taking whey protein. Right. And then they, uh, they actually train harder and they think they experience more gains because they're taking these steroids but they're actually taking absolutely nothing. It's not doing anything for the body. So what would you say about supplements overall? Like the supplement industry or like for people watching, should they take some supplements or just avoid them? I mean, the only supplement that I take is fish oil. Right. And vitamin D. Sure. D3, yeah. And sometimes creatine. Yeah, I mean, but like creatine, not dad dare creatine, just just actual creatine. Real creatine. creatine monohydrate, the cheapest stuff on the market. Most of the supplements are highly overpriced and overrated, and they just want to get your money, right? Not bad, not bad. I like the hair. Now the hair is growing on me, maybe a little bit. Like it? Yeah, I, I didn't say like it. I said it's growing on me. We're yeah, we're not there yet. Uh, give me another tip. Give me another piece of advice. Give me something juicy for the peeps. Another tip would be that a lot of younger dudes, especially, come into the gym and they think all of their gains are going to come overnight. Sure. Yeah. Like, within a couple months, they'll start getting bored and that goes back to the first topic, which was program hopping. Right, right, right. Now, how long does it take? How long have you been lifting? Would you say that they kind of like expect results? I mean, I, I think, I mean, you're going to get good results probably within a solid year. Right. And then to get the results that most people would kind of expect, probably at least two to three years. Yeah, at least, right? At least. Yeah, and that's why people, it's like they expect like, oh, I'm gonna bulk over like one winter, 
and then cut for summer. I'm gonna have this amazing physique. Everyone's gonna be admiring me. It and takes years. Yeah. So how long have you been lifting for? About. Uh, about, about, about about five six years. About five six years. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I started lifting a lot early, when I was a lot younger. Yeah. And then sort of was in and out, and probably consistently like five six years. Another important thing is having a healthy self image. Right. Doing it for the right reasons. Yeah. You're not just trying to compare yourself to the next person. It's Although true. competition is good. Yeah, healthy competition. Healthy competition, but a lot of recreational people don't really need that kind of pressure. They need right. to just focus on themselves. Okay, so we went over a lot of the mistakes. People are thinking, great, now I know what to avoid, but what should I do? Stop, just stop touching, man, just put it down. Put, put it down, be serious. What should they do? We know what they shouldn't do, what should they do? They should get on a good program, a right. well-known program. Right and eat food, rest, right. sleep. Yeah. I mean, that's all that there is to it, really. The basics are kind of the most important, what do you say? Like, people tend to get it overcomplicated and want to go for like some sort of esoteric piece of knowledge. It's like, oh, that's really cool, I should do this, right? It's like, well, if we don't have the fundamentals down pat, we're not gonna be getting into games. Right. Well, guys, that's the video. That's what we talked about. Uh, basic, what do you do? Basic beginner mistakes, uh, how to avoid them and what you should do. I want to thank my guest, The Logical Bro, for being on, right? I want you guys to check out his channel for more great information. I want to make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. If you stop, okay, just, no, you, you know, just, the wig, I'm about to remove the wig. Like the video if you like the damn video, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my subscribers, in that next video. Peace. Peace.